Yeah, I thought, um, you know, going into the game, very rarely do you have what happened to, <laughs> during the week. Been around footy a long time and um, they just kept on falling. You know, even the point that last week we only had, you know, um, you know two key defenders off before half time, really. So, um, to be able to come across tonight and uh, and do what we did, I thought was just magnificent. And um, you know, Nick was part of that. Um, he was fantastic down back. Um, um, you know, just the ability to be able to come out, jump out of the blocks, go hard, get challenged for them to come within a kick, and to kick away again the way we did was outstanding. You know, the youngest team for the round by a fair margin, I think, and a couple of first gamers, and it was just a ripping win. It was um, fantastic. Oh, it was a few few things here and there. Um, in the end, we were able to just go about our business and get it done. And blokes lifted, and um, under under you know um, some challenging conditions, they were able to get you know get up and get going. You know, I think that you know obviously Paps and a few other guys got a few of our leaders, but that next tier underneath, um, you know, Paps and Lordy and those guys that that, that you know crack in and and do it, Mules and, and Parksy, but then there was a next group underneath, which is Nick and, and Ollie and, and a few of that crew, you know, Chad and those guys really start to, to you know, understand what it's about to be challenged in trying circumstances and and lift. It was fantastic. Goals, at least the first and came times and the game was on the line. That's Yeah, it's, it's not always about the goals with Tom, although it was tonight. Um, you know, his, his ability to be able to hit the scoreboard at important times was crucial, but also his ability to be able to win important one-on-ones up the ground and then get back inside 50 and um, outnumbered at times and then just keep his feet and uh, hit the scoreboard was outstanding. So, um, you know, he was, he was really good. No, he works it out. Yeah, he, he's got a good feel for stuff and um, he works it out. So, um, leave it up to him. Yeah. Um, Joel, coming off the way, he was a pretty disappointing. Johnny had a good first quarter. Yeah, yeah, he did. And, uh, you know, it's bad luck for him and us. You know, he's really starting to hit his strides when another tall goes down. He was sort of, and, you know, we just thought, geez, you know, we've been hit, hit pretty hard this week with tools something wrong with the, the height up in Sydney at the moment because you know we've, we've been smacked around by it but um, and then to lose Joel was disappointing particularly the way he started and um, and you know we had to throw the team around but um, you know I thought we, we went about it really really well you know just a, a really young team challenged really hard and respond like that was just just fantastic yeah, look, he struggled the week before against Casey. He, he found it pretty tough. And then last week he played a quarter in a, in a scratch match and, and had to go off and didn't play the rest of the game. So, you know, we were sort of looking at, you know, it's pretty hard to play a first gamer um, in that situation. And, um, you know, he was in a moon boot last Saturday night. So, um, you know, we looked at Tommy and Paddy, obviously. We didn't know that Ramps was going to be out at that stage, but he was in a moon boot Saturday night. So we weren't, <coughs> weren't that confident that he'd be right. Um, but we, we had to play him as a sub because, um, you know, Aaron Francis went off injured last week as well. So we were, we were struggling with tools. And in the end, you were right. It was, we, luckily, we, we pulled the trigger a little bit and had a defender to go back. We shuffled the team a bit around. Um, even though we lost a Joel as a key forward, we shuffled it around a bit. and. Guys like Isaac were able to play that role up forward. Uh, yeah, it was good. You know, it's it's always good. It's always good, no matter how long they've been on the list. And um, you know, it's a great experience to to have a win like that. You know, he and Corey to play their first game, and we had 15, 24, and under tonight. And um, so that's a good experience for those young boys to come across and, and do that together. Fantastic. None certainly. 
no certainties at the moment. They're all right up in the air. So, no, there's no certainties. We might have to do what we did tonight. What was happening in the second, uh, sorry, third quarter when, when they came at you? What was falling down for you? Uh, we got, lost some D50 stoppages. I think they had 22 or something. They had a lot of defensive stoppages and a couple of the D stoppages and all the exits, and they got they were able to get goals out of. So that was probably the point in that quarter that was costly for us. Um, and um, uh, you know, some a bit of the exits, the, the, the turnovers really that that end up hurting us. But you know, they were able to fix that in the last quarter, which was terrific. Yeah, and conversely, how, how pleasing to be able to fix that up and, and really finish with the flourish. Uh, yeah, it was. I mean, you know, they put the foot to the. Th to the floor and, and go away with it like that with the with that team tonight that we had was fantastic. It was, you know, great experiences. You know, I know Richmond were away and we were away. It's a bit unusual, <laughs> you know, to come away, but you you play together as a young team and you have a win like that. It's a beauty, you know. It was a really fulfilling moment for them and um, that's the sort of stuff we're going to have to feed off and um, we're going to have to keep feeding off it um, because we, you know, they, we're young and we're just going to keep going. You know, we just got to keep going. The challenges present themselves again next week. Doesn't get any easier. And um, if we go with a, if we go with a similar group, we'll be it'll be really exciting for them to have a challenge again. And you know, that's that's what one of these feelings like tonight is hopefully provides them with some confidence. Just a bit of an aside, John. You've been in pretty a long time. Have you ever seen a goal? Not, not a goal because it looks a, a bit of a flapping goal. I didn't even know what happened. You don't sort of pay. I didn't know what happened, to be honest, until someone told me on the way in. So, extraordinary. <laughs> extraordinary. John, just touching on that earlier question, I'm likely as a person to have Katie's situation, but with Tom, is he perhaps more like, does he have a reasonable chance of speaking with that? No, he's no certainty. Just your thoughts on the crowd, John, obviously. A neutral crowd, but 42,000 here tonight. Your thoughts on, on the game and, and the concept? I think that concept, it'd be hard to argue against the concept, wouldn't it? It's been an absolute resounding success, you'd have to say, for the for the game and um, you know, the people you just walking around the streets and joints buzzing. It'd be wonderful in Sydney. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I just think I, yeah, it's it's great to grow the game everywhere, but if you could rotate something like this. We can't rotate the grand final, but wouldn't it be great to take it on the road? It'd be unreal. Thanks,